Hello, thank you. Hello, hello, Cardiff. How are you, David? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Excellent. John? My name is David Ashby. Uh, I live with my family in South Gloucestershire. Um, I'm going to be cooking pesto chicken on a bed of uh, roasted uh, red peppers uh, and to accompany it, scrunched new potatoes. This dish is cooked quite often in our, in our family. It's a really easy dish to put together. It's a really easy dish to prepare. Um, everything gets thrown in two pots, so there's very, very little washing up as well. So this is one that we, we, we did put in the oven a little bit earlier. I'm not a precision cook, if you like. I, I like my, um, my food uh, quite rustic uh, on the actual plate itself. OK, well done, David. Well done, everybody. Huh? Thank you very much. You can be very, very um, new to cooking, uh, and it's a really easy dish to put together. And, and the finished result is just a, a great dish. Anita, how are you? Very good to meet you, Dr. Christophe. My name's Anita Sharma James, and I'm from Bromsgrove in Worcestershire. I can see spices, I can see some freshness. Yes, this is a fantastic recipe. It's a type of fritter, spicy fritter, called a pakora. But instead of using a cereal flour, we're going to use a chickpea flour. It's a okay. lentil flour. Well done. So it's packed with protein and um, it's gluten-free, as I was saying. It's a marriage of lots of fresh vegetables and um, gram flour, and they're bound together um, with seeds and spices and then deep fried. It's a completely nutritionally balanced meal that you can make with potatoes um, that will give you these wonderful flavours and textures within 30 minutes. I think it's fantastic. Very good. Mm. Well Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready? Yes, we are ready, okay, Chef. Okay, therefore, you want to introduce yourself again? Well, uh, I'm Suda Saha from Birmingham. I cook a starter dish. It's basically potato mixed with some vegetable and spice to well. I think you definitely have more ingredients than anybody else. That's true. Uh, this recipe is quite innovative. It's my own creation. And what I'm trying to achieve in this one, I'm using the ethnic spices. Touch of cumin powder, because I want to introduce more of cumin powder and bit of coriander powder in this. I always cook the di dish when I'm back at home on my holidays or probably the weekends. And, and I give my daughter and the son to test it. And they love it. Okay. Let's do it together. Serve on the salsa of pear and apple. It's working very well. You think so? Mm. Thank you. Mm. I think my dish should win because I made an unusual blend with East and West incorporating spices and uh, blue cheese, which is very unusual. That's it, well done. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. everybody. Um, my name is Chitra Ajada, and I'm from High Wycombe. Chitra, Hello. Nice How are to you? meet you. All right, nice thank you. you. I cook potatoes because it's very versatile and it keeps well. I mean, you can buy it and cook it in a couple of days and it's still OK. OK. Therefore, what are you doing today? What do you I'm do? cooking curry potatoes. Ah. Yeah, it's something I cook from the family, really. Its origin is my parents, you know, my mother used to cook just plain potatoes with uh, onions, and I just add spices, a bit, bit of tomatoes as well, and make it a little bit different. Mind if I touch a bit? Yeah, that's done. It smells very, very nice, though, right? You, you trust me, yeah? <laughs> it, it was an owner cooking with young creature. Very interesting, too in terms of flavors, and I think what is important to see how they combine. Mm. I think my dish should win because it's very simple and quite nourishing with all the spices, it's supposed to be good for you. I wish you the best. Thank you. Everybody, once again, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. you. Therefore, don't hesitate, go on the website minifestofpotatoes.co.uk and find us a winner. Bon appétit. See you in Manchester.